Former U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has hit back at comments by former Prime Minister Paul Keating on China and the U.S.-Australia alliance. Mr Keating weighed in last week on 7.30 and now Nancy Pelosi has used the same program to return serve. And has she what? 7.30 host Sarah Ferguson joins us now from Sydney. Sarah, good morning. Uh, firstly, let's go to Paul Keating's comments last week. Strong words on Taiwan and America's role in the Pacific. Yes, absolutely. I think the uh, the line that uh, took me by surprise, Michael, sitting across the desk from him, because we knew going into that interview that he had strong views about AUKUS and the potential for uh, a diminishing of Australian sovereignty. But he used the phrase, Taiwan is Chinese real estate, that actually shocked me somewhat and shocked the shocked the Taiwanese enough for the foreign ministry to uh, deliver a rebuke of that particular statement. So by coincidence, Nancy Pelosi was coming in to do an interview. She's got a new book. She's, you know, we know Nancy Pelosi. She's been a dominant figure in the US for a very long time, obviously a Democratic leader for a very long time, former Speaker of the House. But she's also well known for her support of human rights issues around the world. She was an early supporter of uh, Chinese demonstrators in the in Tiananmen Square. And famously in 2022, she went on a very highly publicized visit to Taiwan. I think it had one of the highest ever numbers of people following a plane on flight tracker in the history of that <laughs> app. Um, so everyone followed her every m movement in Taiwan. So I knew she had a, a significant interest in Taiwan. So I put the question, the line that uh, Paul Keating had used to us that Taiwan was Chinese real estate. This is what she said. Well, you don't want to get my description of him for saying that. That's ridiculous. It is not Chinese real estate, and he should know that. Uh, Taiwan is, is uh, Taiwan, and it's of the people of Taiwan who are, have a democracy there. I think that was a stupid statement with all—I have no idea about Keating, but I think it was a stupid statement to make. And I don't know what his connection is to China that he would say such a thing. But it is really not in the, in the security interest of the Asian Pacific region for people to talk that way. I think one of the surprising things about that, Michael, is we're used to, in foreign affairs, things being couched in very careful language. Now, obviously, Paul Keating wasn't using that diplomatic language. We're used to that with him, but we're not used to people talking about highly sensitive issues like Taiwan and China in such robust terms, so stupid and ridiculous. Mm. That's a very strong statement. Cannot wait to watch the full interview tonight on 7.30. A must-watch one indeed. Sarah Ferguson, thank you. Always a pleasure, Michael.